pictures. <laughs> Arrival vlogger. Probably talking rubbish, are you? As per usual, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to hell. Sinky! Of course, we're in Finland today, which means we're flying on Finnair. We're going to be on a brand new Airbus A350. Ben, how will you be flying today? I am going to be trying out a brand new business class seat that does not recline. Looks really cool, actually. Liam? I'm in plain old economy today. Which means I'm in the middle. Finnair have now got premium economy, so I'm going to get to check out this new product, new seat on this new plane. I think it's time we finish this introduction. Oh, Where are we good. going, Ben? Let's go back to London. Let's go. Let's go. So here I am in Helsinki Airport on a beautiful sunny day in Finland. You know, the airport itself is fresh, modern. It's lovely and vast, expansive, it looks very clean. And I know I'm flying economy today, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna have a bad flight. I'm gonna try and use the uh, little electronic sign-in process to check into my flight. Let's go and give it a go. Welcome to Helsinki Terminal 2. It is a lovely new terminal here, really light and bright and a really nice start to the Finnair experience. Also just realized I'm wearing the most Finnish colors ever. Feeling very Finnish today. So I'm gonna go check in now. There's no queue either at the priority queue or not. I do have status, so I can use the priority queue, but to be honest, it makes no difference either way. I've done my bag tagging myself and I've got my boarding pass from the machine. It's pretty easy to tag my own bag. I'm a little bit surprised that there aren't any manned check-in desks here, even for premium passengers, because it would be nice to have the choice to do that. Absolutely love that. Super speedy electronic check-in service. No one really here at all. I don't know if I've ever felt so relaxed in an airport. Honestly, I'm just strolling around here. It's so nice. Security was a breeze, super modern and quick. Um, and actually, I think it could be time for a coffee. <laughs> Espresso House looks like a shout, says speciality coffee. I'll give that a go. So Nikki and I don't have lounge access today, but we do have access to this lovely upper deck coffee house that looks, looks very nice and there's even an outdoor terrace. One thing you know I'm obsessed with in an airport, it's a terrace and I've bloody found one. Look at this. Oh, and a little bit windy, but I can see the wingtip of an A350. That could be the very aircraft that we're going to be flying on. The main takeaway here is that even if you're not flying business class from Helsinki Airport, you're still going to have a lovely time here. My Finnair business class ticket comes with lounge access to the Finnair lounge here at Helsinki. So I'm going to head there now and check it out. First impressions of the new Finnair Lounge here in Helsinki, you can tell that it is brand new. Really lovely space, nice and bright and clean and modern. That's gonna be me in two minutes. So Nikki has dragged me along to the Moomin Coffee store, which actually does look pretty lovely. Um, Nikki, what's, what is it about Moomins that gets you so excited? I don't know, they're just so cute and Finnish, and also there's a beautiful A350 right in the background, so we get the best. Oh, there's two of them. Oh my God. Okay, this is the best thing ever. The best place ever. <laughs> the food here is really good. My favourite spot here in the new Finnair Lounge in Helsinki Airport is this beautiful central cocktail bar that can make you cocktails and there's also champagne.
We're in the Moomin Cafe and we've got a Moomin coffee and it doesn't taste particularly different to a normal coffee, but it's quite nice. We were expecting it to be moomin -y. I was expecting it to have a bit of a Moomin flavour to it. Or maybe a Moomin mug would have been a yeah, nice touch. Yeah, Moomin mug would have been a vibe. Moom moomin mug with Moomin, moomin water. I wonder what they drink. What do Moomin drink? Milk. <laughs> <laughs> So I've just got to the boarding gate before I fly back to London and you might be able to tell that I'm rocking back and forth a little bit. That's because I'm sitting on a rocking chair right now, which again is just another lovely little touch that you wouldn't expect to find at boarding gate. You know, it's a world away from those narrow cramped seating options you'd have in a lot of airports. And again, it just makes it feel like every little thing in this airport is designed with humans in mind. There's even lie flat seats to my right. We've got other padded options behind me. There are endless comfy chairs to sit in, and again, it just contributes to the whole experience, feeling relaxing, something a bit different. But yeah, Helsinki Airport gets a big thumbs up from me. Honestly, one of the most pleasant airport experiences I've ever had, and this A350 behind me is looking so pretty. Hiya, how are you doing? Hi. Absolutely gorgeous. It's only a few months old. Really quite sexy. So I've just sat down in my economy seat on this Finnair A350. Let me give you my first impressions. So initially you can see I've got a nice grey padded seat. You've got these sort of plasticky armchairs that are a little bit thin, but not too bad at all. The seat itself feels very comfy, um, good amount of sort of softness beneath me, nice and fluffy. Um, let's do the all important recline test and see how far back the seat goes. That's actually, for economy, really impressive. I don't know if you can really tell from this angle, but that feels significantly further back than a lot of economy seats go. And then if you want to make it even more comfortable for yourself, you can adjust the headrest like this, get it where you want it, and then fold it in at the corners. Let's give that a little try. If you want to have a little sleep. Yeah, that feels, um, that feels really comfy. Certainly, you know, for a two and a half hour economy flight, I could not ask for more than that. So here it is, the lovely, spacious, brand new premium economy product on Finnair. Finnair has never had a premium economy product before. It's becoming ever more popular for lots of airlines, and this one is certainly nice. Um, the seat initially feels very comfortable. It's new, it's fresh, padded. Um, all the finishes look very smart and nice. Okay, so first up, lots of leg room. I'm in the bulkhead here, but looking at the other seats, you will not suffer regardless of how tall you are. There are two buttons on the seat, one of which is for the recline, which goes back pretty far, and then another button is for the leg rest, which comes up. And in the fully reclined position, this is actually like really, really nice. That's great. So first impressions of the seat, really big, really private, and there's a nice kind of cocoon feeling, but you may notice that there's no actual seat back. The back of the seat is the back of the shell. So there's no recline because there's actually nothing to recline. So to lay down, you simply lay on the bottom of the seat. And I think there is, yeah, a little bit that folds up here. There we go. And this bit comes up. So you can see the bottom of the seat comes up like this to create a flat surface, which you can then lay down on. Now you have these pillows here, and if you are wanting to lounge and watch a movie, this is the only thing that's gonna make you comfortable between sitting up and laying right back down. That's actually, that's actually pretty comfortable. I'm, I'm quite impressed with that. Um, you're nice and close to the screen, a nice big screen. You can watch a movie this way. And then when you are ready to sleep, you lay all the way down like this, and you've got a bed. And in terms of foot room, I've got tons under there. Um, you know, at 5'11 tool, there are no problems for me in terms of space. And again, I have a lovely empty, empty almost cabin at the moment. So, you know, I'm really enjoying the fact that I'm not gonna be squished in anywhere today. Then down here, we have a tray table that you can flip out like so and pull it out like that. 
And again, that's a perfectly good size. You can slide it back and forth if you want. Certainly big enough to you know, have your food on, get a laptop on if you want to do a bit of work. That, that folds away like so. And then here you actually have another little um, storage compartment, which is a nice little added bonus. Let's just clip that away there. And then here you have, you know, the usual um, <clears throat> seat pocket that's located in front of you with another sort of mini one in front that currently has um, some IFE provided headphones in. Which We've then got a tray table here, which pulls out of the armrest. It's in one piece, nice, light, Scandi wood design. This is nice, feels sturdy. Sometimes these can be a little bit bouncy when there's no support on the side, but this one is actually pretty good. If storage is something that you care about, you might want to select one of the seats that isn't in the bulkhead in this premium economy cabin. One of the differences between the bulkhead seat and the seats behind is that while the tray table still comes out the armrest, there's more storage on the seats behind me. They have an extra little cubby hole and another little pull down area where you can store things. So I really like the color scheme of the new Finair business seat. I really like this dark blue and there's a real feeling of a cocoon around you here. There's a nice high wall and although it doesn't have a sliding door, there is good privacy here. Um, so first impressions are good. The padding on the back of the seat here is quite soft. Um, I do wonder after a lot of wear and tear after a few years how it will hold up because it's not a normal seat cushion. But for now, it's pretty comfortable. There's two really good size cushions here normal cushion and then one on the pillow um, which is really nice to have for a two hour flight. And then out in front of me we have this IFE screen which is actually a great size. Um, it's all touch screen, it feels very responsive, really quick, modern, obviously um, quite newly installed on this aircraft. There you can see the charging ports that come with the IFE screen, there's a couple of audio jacks, an HDMI socket and also a USB-C socket which is really useful if you've got a slightly newer style of charger. I often find that you don't see USB sockets on this flight so another little handy addition here on the A350. There's also a lovely smart light feature here, a reading light, headrests that are adjustable like this and go up and down. There's also a reading light above your head. There's an IFE screen ahead of us, which is pretty big and looks like there's plenty of choice. And one thing that I adore, and not all airlines decide to put this on their aircraft, is a flight camera. And I can see that this aircraft has it. Everything is controlled from this handheld device here, which you can use to control the volume and the power. The seats also have an inlet for headphones and also power outlets and USB ports at every seat. So let's have a look around the seat. Um, there are a few storage compartments I can see already. I really like the mobile charging port uh, that is on the side of the seat here. You just pop your phone on top and it starts charging immediately. That's a really cool feature. You can expect some nice noise cancelling headphones on Finnair's long haul services in business class. Unfortunately on today's short haul flight, it's just these little earbud earphones. There's a fairly small tray table that pops out from this console by the window by pressing the button and then folds out for your meals. There's a nice big in-flight entertainment screen and plenty of padded space to put your feet up. Now one complaint I do have about this new business class seat is that the screen doesn't tilt down so if you are in climb mode like this you want to lie down and watch a movie it's not the best angle to watch the screen because um, it's right upright like this. I just love this. My seat is right here, but right here is just this gorgeous galley space, thin air branded, Scandi vibes, and they've hidden most of the galley to make it look like a really relaxing environment. So I don't have food included as part of my economy ticket today, but there is an onboard menu that I can access with the IV screen. So we're gonna have a little browse now of the food and drink options and see if there's anything that I wanna order. One thing to watch out for on short haul thin air, you might not be able to get real food. I think they do do some noodles, um, like sort of instant noodles, but other than that, you're not gonna get a proper meal even if you wanna pay for it. So an early dinner has just been served on the Finnair Airbus A350. 
Uh, there was no choice of the main course, which was a little bit surprising in uh, business class. Even on short haul, I would expect there to be a choice of two or three options. Um, there's an amazing smell of Indian food in the cabin, and that is the main course, which is um, an Indian cheese curry, which smells amazing. For a starter, there's some marinated prawns, and the dessert is a chocolate cookie. So here in Finnair, this isn't real premium economy, this is really the economy service I'm getting here because we're only flying to London, but you get complimentary blueberry juice, which is the, apparently the most Finnish thing. But then I bought a cup of tea, because I'm me, and a blueberry muffin, which is also very Finnish, probably. Um, but let's try this blueberry juice. I'm gonna drink the nectar of Finland. Actually delicious, and this lovely crew member told me she actually picks blueberries with her grandma in the forest, and it's like a fairy tale, but it's real. Cute. I have been able to order a blueberry muffin. As I said, blueberries are a big thing here. Um, I've got some desert salt crisps and I've got a Sandals Premium Finish beer, which actually looks great. And I know I'm in economy, but why not, why, why not treat myself to a little alcoholic beverage? So I'm gonna enjoy this, cheers. A proper meal would have been nice, but given how great everything else has been for Finnair today, I really can't complain that much. Mm, moist, delicious, blueberry, so good. Well, look who's come to slam it with me back in economy. Um, ben, how's it going with this so far? Very nice. I love the new scene. It's huge, it's private, it's luxurious. Um, it's been a really lovely flight, really lovely crew, nice food. Um, it's just flying on a nice aircraft like this is just a very nice way to travel. Didn't fancy bringing me a little cocktail back from a business class. Though. So, this is a short haul flight. So, the cert, like they haven't had a huge range of things. They, they haven't kind of had, I think, a full bar. There was no pre departure drink, which I did think was a little bit surprising, but um, it's been it's been a nice flight. It's time for the Corbell Challenge. There we go, ready, one, two, three, bang. Hi, could I possibly get a glass of water? Thank you so much. Ooh, that was quick. No messing around. Hello, can I have you had some more sparkling water? Of course. Curry was very yes. hot. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was very quick. That felt pretty speedy to me and I couldn't resist going for the bigger chocolate bar. If it's anything like finished blueberries, then I'm in for a winner. So you're definitely not going to get bored on a flight with Finnair because now we're going to do a bit of shopping and here these lovely ladies are um, to try and sell me their wares. This is one type of chocolate, famous Finnish chocolate. Which one should I get? What's your favourite? I prefer banana, it's super delicious, you should try it. I've discovered a Finnair hack. If you want a little snack, Finnair do sell these chocolate bars for €2.50. However, if you want the big daddy chocolate bar, it's just €4.50. So it's actually a bargain. Four euros, oh my God, it's even better than I thought. All right, we're gonna take one of each. I'll take a banana and a classic. All right, great. Sold. And that was Finnair's brand new business class cabin on there, A350-900. Really great experience. I love the seat, really comfy to be sitting and to sleep in. Lovely crew, uh, fantastic airport experience in Helsinki, a really great airline. You know, if it wasn't for the slightly reduced meal service, I think that would have been a near perfect flight. The seat was comfortable, the crew were lovely, and the airport experience was very relaxing. It didn't feel like economy at all. So well done for that, that was a great flight. So I can't quite judge that as a full premium economy experience because it was only on a short haul flight, but the seat was super impressive, so comfortable. The crew were amazing and that aircraft, it's beautiful. I really want to do a long haul flight with them and that is premium economy on the A350 with Finnair from Helsinki to London. Done.